Hey guys, it is now Thursday the 13th and I just got home from work at six o'clock, but I swear it was like already super dark when I left work at five. It took me so long to get home because leaving at five is the worst. Um, I also have one next to no makeup, so please excuse that. Just have on a little bit. So yeah, I think I'm about to maybe do some skincare. Go ahead and get my skincare going. I might do a mask. I feel like I could just use a mask, you know what I mean? And then I'm going to edit my Boxy Lux unboxing and hopefully get that up for you guys tonight instead of a vlog. And then this you'll see tomorrow, hopefully. So I can do like Thursday and Friday together and then probably do Saturday and Sunday together. And then after my birthday, like I should be able to continue doing like daily until at least through Christmas. Um, Cause after Christmas it, it can get kind of boring. So I might go back to like weekly after that. I want to show you that I've actually made progress. Now, progress. This is not that great, but I have cleared out <laughs> some of my floor that was covered. Um, I basically have not had time since I filmed to clean up. By the way, this is a little setup. It's not much going on. I've just got my little table, which I try to keep clean and like not have clutter and just use it for videos. And then I've just got stuff. I need to take care of that, but that's like giveaway stuff, a couple different videos. Um, just things kind of sitting there ready to go and stuff that I still need to do a bit of organizing with. But this is progress. It's getting better. My goal is to have these pink bins with just stuff for videos in the closet. So my closet can be a little messy right now. The, the problem is that I have so much seasonal stuff in here. This is just like a peek of all my like decor and stuff. But I need to just like get this sorted. So hopefully all the bins can live in there which as you can see, they're pretty big. So with those being out of the way, it would make a lot more sense. So yeah, I've still got some stuff to deal with, but overall it's looking better. I'm about, I think I'm gonna clean up. I've got like stuff sitting from when I did my video and then I will, you know, kind of have it a little bit more put together, but that's what's going on right now. I really do love my little, my little setup but you guys don't see it very well i feel like my pictures are maybe hung a little too high like if they were lower you could see them better but overall i like it it's it's pleasing to me so yeah my vanity is a mess it's not as much of a mess as it can be and i want to show you guys too my cats chewed holes in this mask and i'm like why and it looks like their teeth just like went through it and they were probably like ugh so yeah, I have these usually in a drawer, but for some reason, like when I did a haul or something, it was laying and yeah, that's, yeah, that's that. Hey. Yeah, what's up? Are you just so beautiful? How you get this way? I miss Nibs. Miss Nippies, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, where are you going? Okay. I literally have a pile of socks from my Abbott calendar. So this is the next sock one. So this is 12 days of socks, but it's like more Christmas themed. So this is what it looks like. So let's do day one. They're just tough. Let's see. Okay, so Santa's, Santa's in the chimney. So you got Santa butt socks. Okay, so that's our new sock calendar, day one. Day 13, whatever you want to call it. Our next sugar trip on day 13. Look at that little creature. What is that? Sweet Chateau. Ooh, ooh la la. Ooh, what is this? Okay, so this is an eyeshadow called Cookie Cutter. Hey, no. So Cookie Cutter is the shade and that's right there on my hand. A Little bit lighter than me. Feels kind of nice though. So I'm kind of stoked to try that out. And again, I love, I love that the little designs are on the products themselves. So I can hold on to the, the cuteness. We've got our little beauty parcel. Day 13, which is another, oops, which is another box. So let's open this one up. What is this? I see something. What is it? Okay, so it's an EOS lip balm. All right. I I don't know that I've ever actually tried these. I know that a ton of people really like them. This is pomegranate raspberry. Um, 
is something about the rubbing a ball on my lips that I just don't like. Is that weird? Am I the only one? If you guys like this, I will add this to my giveaway. Um, cause I, I don't think that I'll get around to using it. I've got so many lip products. And so there you go. And finally we've got our Look Fantastic. Let's open this one up. And 13's all the way at the bottom. Oh, this one's got a little cush cushion too. So, probably something fragile. This is the Balance Me Gradual Tanning Drops for face and body. I'm assuming you like mix these in. Okay, so you can mix it in. I'm kind of interested to try this. I feel like, did we just get something like this? I feel like we did. Um, so yeah, we'll try that out soon. And that's it for now. I will talk to you guys later. Hey guys, sorry if the lighting's weird. I turned on this light above me. Now I feel like that was a mistake because I'm all like shadowed. But at any rate, let me tell you guys, I'm so excited for like the most trivial thing right now. So we went to Walmart to get just a few things. Um, I was getting drinks for everybody at work for tomorrow. We're having like a little Christmas dinner potluck. And we found these pajamas. A, the shirt was in one place, the pant was in the other place. I'll insert a clip of the pant so you can see it. But the top says, waiting on my letter from Hogwarts. That's what it says. And it's so soft. And so it's a little bit big. This is like a, clearly it's pretty big on me. But... I probably would have gotten maybe a one size smaller only because I like it kind of big for pajamas. But, so they were in random places. The only tag was like this little bitty barcode on this one. So we looked it up and this was a set, but it was only $5. And I'm so excited. The pants are so cute. This is so cozy. So I'm, I'm really excited about this. That's silly. But anyway, it is now Friday. It's Friday night. I again worked and I work again in the morning. Um, it's just been so much work lately. And I'm home now. We went to Walmart. We got some food. And now I just have like a lot to do because tonight I want to get this vlog up for you. I want to do my nails. I'm going to do another set of marmalade nails that I have. I want to shower tonight and wash my hair so that way for tomorrow it's ready. And then tomorrow night we're having like a birthday dinner. It's a surprise plate so I don't know where we're going it's just gonna be Zach and I and then like I said my mom's gonna come up Sunday morning so we're gonna go do shopping um, I want to go have like hibachi that's something I've been craving for a little bit so we're gonna go do that got an order from Sephora just a small one and then I also purchased a few things as well today my little gift to me so also I gotta tell you guys like I got um, nine dollars cash back on dosh so if you're not using that and not to just be like oh go sign up use my code but it's like really cool because i get gas at a chevron really close to me constantly that you can get cash back at and then of course i shop at sephora a lot which they had eight percent cash back and i got eight percent cash back on ebay so i got i spent about a hundred dollars just a bit over and i got nine dollars back on ebay and i got nine dollars back on dosh and this was in store as well so that's crazy like free money why not um so i'll link those below just in case you're not using them because it's just a no-brainer um even if you don't like use the link i put in there that's fine um but definitely check it out it's so worth it especially if you go to certain places you can check it out and see what all they do but like forever 21 was on there like i said sephora chevron there was a, a definitely a lot of restaurants other gas stations so yeah it's just it's a no-brainer and i'm already getting back like i've already gotten back like 30 something dollars um, and I haven't even done it that long. So yeah, anyway, so I got in my order that I had placed a few days ago. I got a few things. I got the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian foreplay. I love this and I had a mini in the kit that I bought in my holiday gift guide, which will be linked below if you want to see that. But I really wanted a full size because I love this so much. Like I would definitely use this always and yeah, just like get rid of all other shower gels. It's a little pricey obviously, but it's nice for the winter especially. I also got this um, by Kaja. I think the brand is called Kaja. I've heard people say Kaja and Kaja. I'm not sure exactly which one, but it's um, K-A-J-A. -A. You can find it at Sephora. And this is the Cheeky Stamp. I got this shade 01 Koi Serene, which I hope this is a good color. So this is what it looks like. I'm so excited to use it. And let's see, so you get your little stamp 
is a little heart and then this once you remove the film it's like a little cushion you stamp it in there and then you like stamp it on your cheeks i've heard so many good things and i was just so excited to try it myself i got this from saturday skin i think it's so cute it's gonna be hard to see but it's called the cotton cloud probiotic power mask and it's got these little i don't know what these actually are but it's like a little clouds floating in there um so i'm curious I just got those few things not a big order and then i got a couple samples amore and then charlotte tilbury powder occasionally brands will give us an extra discount as a way to say like thank you for supporting them whatever um and we have an extra discount on lancome and use of the people you of the people is one of my favorites i've been wanting to get this adaptogen it's a moisturizer and this one's very oh my god it's got it's got ashwagandha and reishi mushrooms and it's got pentapeptides in it so this is supposed to like I'm trying to remember how she explained it, but it's to like help your skin adapt to like all the environmental stressors, stress in your life, um, all of the pollution, things like that. So your skin will thrive despite all that. But I've tried a few samples of it and man, I really liked it. It doesn't look like much of anything. Like it's a very simple packaging, um, which I don't mind. Like the most important thing to me is that it works. So I'm so excited about that. I also got the Kale and Aloe Sunflower Oil Tripeptide 5 Eye Cream, which looks like this. And this is the Superfood Peptide. The aesthetic they have is like white and glass. So it's very like minimalistic, if that makes sense. And almost like, um, not, a, not pharmaceutical. There's like a word I'm thinking of, but very basic looking. Good ingredients though. They have great ingredients this even has a best buy wow they put a sticker in here to tell me when it's goodbye so this is best by november of next year that's awesome a lot of brands you know you have to go search the batch codes and all that which i talked about in another video where you're like can you just tell me like you know and most people forget so i also got the lancome genifique hydrogel melting mask i think i have one of these in my drawer but it's one of those where it's like precious and i don't want to use it up so i was like let me just get another one and i'll use whatever one's the older one i think because i'm pretty sure i have one of these and then i broke down and i got this today i looked at this so many times and i was like no i do not need another palette i don't need another palette i don't need another freaking palette but i got one anyway so this is the Too Faced pretty rich and i must say i'm very excited about it hey my cats just got their christmas stocking down off the counter it's sealed up, but they're probably chewing it. Um, so the packaging is a little bulky. That's the only thing that I don't like about this. Like the lid itself is so much more thick than the palette. And I feel like this could have been sleeker. I know that wasn't the point of it. Um, now it's a little bit sturdier than like the paper palettes, like the Christmas and all that. But yeah, I could have, I could have done with a sleeker packaging. I feel like it could have, I could have looked sleeker and a little bit better, but the inside though is all the way gorgeous. Beautiful glittery shades. The glitter in these four shades, which you can tell immediately which ones are chunky and they're like that different shape as well, is it's like a true glitter. So this is gonna be beautiful with some glitter glue. The matte swatch like a dream. There's shimmer shades as well. And then this chunky glitter. And yeah, it just, it definitely did it for me. And when I saw the pictures, I honestly didn't think that I was going to buy it, especially right away. I was like, ah, maybe I'll pick it up when it's on sale, but it got me. I have way too many palettes. I need to use palettes that I have truly, but I did it anyway. So that's like my little my little birthday present to myself. And of course, I want to show you guys day 14 or day two of our 12. So we're going to go back to our advent calendars. I'm going to, because these are so hard to open, I'm going to open this one and pull the day two from right there because these are hard to open. <gasps> so cute. I love these want to wear these so right now they're so cute and then the NYX sugar trip we are on 14 so this is the sweet chateau oh my god the little artwork on this is so funny candy stash eyeshadow look at that little artwork that's so funny like a little candy pink maybe that helps a little bit 
Yeah, but that's Candy Sash. It's like a light shimmery pink. The little beauty parcel from Feel Unique. And then we got 14 right here in the middle. Ooh, so this is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. I'm excited. I haven't gotten this. We started carrying the travel size of this and then we've had it in a couple of kits. I haven't tried it myself, but when I first looked at it, I was, you know, obviously intrigued because it's such an iconic brand and so fancy. The smell really got me. I'm like, that's kind of strong. Um, but I think I will definitely give it a try for sure. And I love the consistency of it. So we'll see how it does on the face. And we've got look fantastic. So day 14. What is this? Oh, from Lipstick Queen. I still think that I've never tried this brand. I don't think that I've ever bought anything. So this is the Frog Prince. Oh, it's the green one. So let's put this on. I don't think I've put a lipstick on all day. I think it would be funny to like pull this out in public and start to put it on and somebody's going to look at you and think you're insane. Dark green. That's cute though. So I'm going to wrap this up here so I can go ahead and upload this video for you guys. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy. And also don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell to turn on notifications so you know every time I upload. Thanks for watching guys and I will see you next time. Bye.